Okay, guys, so I'm going back into to Kira to redo something here on the GTEC A10 profile. Now, as you remember, I went ahead and I did a video on how I created this profile uh, in a previous video, but this is kind of a continuation of that one because everything wanted to print to the left and to the front of center. So I need to get that adjusted so prints will be more in the center. Now, this isn't going to be a 100% fix I'm sure but it'll be way better than what it is now so one thing I've done recently is I went over here into the settings you go into prof or into uh, printer you go down to manage printers and under the a10 go to machine settings that takes you back to that first screen now if you'll notice over here where before I left all these auto populated from Kira I went ahead and I knocked all these down to zero uh, that way, Kira is not messing around with where the extruder, where the nozzle is compared to, to where the programming says it should be. I just went ahead and zeroed all that out. Now, one thing that I did notice, and you're going to notice in the little picture-in-picture picture window I'm putting up, I went ahead and I measured the build plate of the A10. Now, it is sold as being a 220 millimeter by 220 millimeter, you know, width and depth. Uh, print bed. Thing is, when I measured it, it's coming up 235 millimeters in each way. So if you have one of these printers, I really recommend that you go ahead and double check your your print volume, your, the bill plate. Double check it, measure it, be absolutely sure what the measurement is. Because if it's like mine, it's 235, you definitely want to enter that into this. That makes all the difference in the world. And as you're seeing right now, the little block is printing. It's printing right in the center of the build plate. It's within five millimeters of being in the center, which is a huge improvement over what, over what it was. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save this G, this uh, profile in Cura. I'm going to put it in a, a Google Drive uh, folder. I'm going to share that in the video description of this video. If you're interested in downloading it you're more than welcome to it uh, once again all that had to be changed is just those those two settings just the the print head settings knock that down to zero and then took the printer settings and put the correct build volume in it and it looks like that made a huge improvement anyway guys that's going to do it for this video thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one hey guys thank you very much for watching this video if you get a chance please check out my website jimmyshawstidbits.com where you'll be able to take and purchase merchandise like this from my Tee Public store, or go to the Amazon affiliate and be able to purchase that merchandise from there. Every little bit helps the channel. I sure appreciate it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, please subscribe. You can do that by clicking on the link over here. If you'd like to support the channel, please check out my Patreon page over here. And if you'd like to watch my other videos, please give these a shot. I think you're going to like them. Oh yeah, you're going to love them. Have a great day and take care. Bye.